with that, right, and thinking about that question, especially uh, on the backs of what I was just talking about, I mean, it, it depends on on really where you want to go with that. I mean, the game is business a game of attrition of other people not making it so you can make it or in my mind what I see it as and, and where I have found success over the years versus where I started which is a game of attrition meaning more focus and less scattered more doing one thing that's important or one thing that I'm good at and having others do those other parts or what happens a lot in business what happens a lot for entrepreneurial type people what happens a lot in life is chasing lots of shiny objects right chasing lots of options and for me because I deal with companies and individuals who are selling and the way that I feel about sales and everything that I've studied sales is sales it doesn't matter Right. And so one of the things for me, especially early on, was I can help anybody. I can help any 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 business, any industry. It doesn't matter selling any service or product. Sales is sales at a base level. And I can help somebody in that way. But that is difficult and you can't do that. You can't help everybody. Um, and so uh, I think a successful business is a game of attrition internally, which is, all right, let's cut down the noise. Let's cut down the distractions. Let's focus more, right? There's a great book called The Road Less Stupid, which I'm not a huge fan of provocative title books, but it's a really good book if you're in business. I highly recommend it to everybody because it's really about thinking about your business, asking the right questions of yourself so that you can have a successful uh, entrepreneurial venture. Right. But one of the punchlines in the book that I love the most is start less things, finish more things. And that has stuck with me for the year and a half since I first read that book. Uh, I just read it for a second time. And I think that's important, especially for entrepreneurs, people running a business, start less things, finish more things. We really like, we being entrepreneurs, really like to start lots of things. I start lots of things and I've learned that I, then I don't finish them. And then I'm chasing all these things or I'm spinning way too many plates. Um, there's a balance with spinning the right number of plates and going in the right number of directions to test what might be the best path or the better path, right? You've got to be careful about putting all your eggs in one basket, but you also want to be careful not to put your eggs in a thousand baskets um, because you're going to get nothing, right? So start less things, finish more things. And what I found is when you do that and you actually do, you finish items, projects, tasks, build courses, programs, training, you know, in, in the realm that I deal with, then what happens is that will then guide you to the better path. And then you can continue to evolve that way by doing less, starting less things, but getting better and better at the things that you do. 